Hey everybody, here's a brief summary of the work to date of our group trying to articulate the educational distinction of our campus. Our group worked uh, so far through a series of 14 meetings. We went from conceptual debates to working on and coming up with specific elements for the structure of our educational distinction section. Our charge is to provide the aspirational vision for our campus a decade from now, informed by right now, but really we're thinking of what we'll be like um, in 2032. Our primary audience is campus, but others might uh, uh, find useful um, stuff in this section. Our framework was to talk about um, some aspects that were not unique to CSUCI, that were more universal across all of higher ed, but then merge with the particular strengths that we bring uh, here at CSUCI. In gen most of our sections, we've tried to be general and have comments and, and terms and ideas that are, would be embraced by everybody across campus and then supported with examples. Those examples, though, may not be uh, universal for everyone. What we found in our initial feedback is that um, a lot of people seem to be very attached to one aspect of campus and really think that that part should be uh, the dominant part of our educational distinction. In reality, um, we are charged with looking at the whole of the university and the whole of our, our educational enterprise. So we're really trying to paint the whole elephant, not talk about just the trunk or just the tail or what have you. Our section is broken into five different uh, parts, starting with core values, going on to a discussion of place-based features and opportunities, talking about characteristics that reflect our values, how we see ourselves as citizen, and then ending with some challenges. Our core values, those key elements, are excellence in higher ed. Um, we are devoted to innovative knowledge production and skill development. We see ourselves as a key change agent um, and pushing for a more equitable society through our work and the work of our students. And we view ourselves as a trusted, reliable member of our region and of our community. We uh, lean into our regional history and we think we have an optimistic future here and we're really connected to that. We particularly operate in liminal spaces. So, so whereas some universities really are comfortable in, in area one or two, we are really comfortable in the transition between things geographically, economically, culturally, etc. So we really lean into these, these edge spaces, these transition spaces. We also need to embrace risk and uncertainty as we grow. Um, not, not risk for risk's sake, but rather um, we need to take chances. We need to understand that not everything is going to work out and we need to uh, uh, embrace that and go forward. We also need to embrace, embrace continual preparation for the emerging challenges and the perpetual disruptions that are constantly um, uh, uh, coming to pass. Uh, our place-based features uh, focus on local populations, wild and natural spaces in our area, our, our unique so-called Gold Coast identity of Santa Barbara and Ventura County, um, but yet also our, our, our strong proximity to Los Angeles. Um, we have some valuable government institutions here from the Navy to NOAA to other institutions um, and uh, a lot of fantastic in industry and associated technology innovation, et cetera, uh, that come from our, our location here in, in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. As far as university as citizen, we really think of this as a way to build our, our nexus of scholarship and strengthen our regional partners, uh, partnerships, excuse me. And we can do that through a number of different ways, but one example is the creation of institutes or centers. In particular, we think um, it makes a lot of sense to craft a coastal studies center and also a sustainable agricultural uh, center. Um, many other things are possible as well, such as biotechnology, um, et cetera, but um, uh, those can be discussed. We end with talking about the challenges that we are going to be facing First and foremost, we've had this, this recent era of extremely unstable institutional leadership and high turnover of key personnel. That's quite problematic for us. Um, we have, uh, generally speaking, um, really poor student preparation and also poor faculty preparation to deal with that student population. Um, we also have 
significant equity gaps in our students. We These are not two um, uh, totally unrelated things, but it's important to separate these two challenges out. One is the mean, the average competencies, for example, of our students, and two is the variation in those competencies that our students bring uh, to our campus. We're experiencing an eroding reputation of our graduates who are increasingly seen as not particularly um, able to do some of the tasks and, and jobs and careers um, of our local community. Um, our workload for our faculty, staff, etc. here is generally speaking unrealistic and it's not a way to go forward to be productive and to be effective at our jobs. We also have insufficient funding for many of these key elements we need and also uh, lack a lot of the uh, physical infrastructure and, and um, organizational infrastructure to support a lot of the things that we need to do. Um, finally, uh, we really need better assessment and accountability. Most of our assessment is non-existent or overly simplistic. Um, finally, we really need to understand that we are facing ever increasing frequency and intensity of disruptions, be that environmental, be that economic, be that social. So with that, we welcome you to uh, uh, give us some feedback on our Padlet, go look at our uh, draft white paper in the Dropbox, or come to one of our upcoming uh, Zoom brown bags uh, next week. Thanks so much, everybody be well, and we'll talk to you soon.